Hey guys, in this video I'm going to discuss the practice of e-begging here on YouTube. It's something that I've found quite distasteful for a long time, so it's time for me to air my grievances. Let's start with a little history. The first time I saw a person beg for money on YouTube was in 2007. SXE Phil desperately wanted to move to New York to advance his career and attend YouTube 777 gathering, but once he arrived he found that he couldn't afford to stay. What an astronomical injustice it would be if he couldn't stick around and mingle with the other YouTubers, so we asked his viewers to send him donations through his PayPal account. I have no idea how much money he ended up getting from his audience, but I do know that whatever the amount, it wasn't worth paying for the useless fuck to stay in New York so he could try to stick his dick in Lisa Nova. It wasn't too long before the e-beg bug infected our little YouTube atheist community. Brett Keen became well known for it. On all my different web pages, including my space, if you feel the need to support me for the hard work that I do and the loss that I take over and over from these corporate companies that delete people's shit, you can also make a donation and support me. It is nice whenever people are helpful and show their appreciation in that way. But then in the space of about a week, TJ, Cody, and Captain Awesome all begged for money to fulfill their respective desires. Captain Awesome wanted to have Thanksgiving with his girlfriend here in Canada. For the first time ever, I am not spending Thanksgiving anywhere, you know, which is, <laughs> is, is hard. Dill invited me, you know, Dill Dominique from YouTube, invited me up to uh, Canada for Thanksgiving. But I don't have the, I don't have the money because my car just broke down and I had to buy a new car. Um, but, uh, so I put a donation meter up on my site. TJ wanted two things. The first was pussy. He was going to meet some girl and he didn't have the money to take her out. I have a girl coming over. I want to impress her. So, I need money. Why his audience would feel the need to spend their own money to alleviate his sexual frustration is beyond me. Now, a primary theme of YouTube e-begging is the insistence that the donations are worthwhile for the viewers because they'll fund a video project that will be enjoyable for all. So the second thing TJ wanted cash for was a road trip that he would film. Sometime next year, I would like to go on an amazing atheist road trip around the country and shoot a nice little DVD wherein I talk to prominent evangelicals and prominent atheists and plenty of YouTube atheists as well. Of course, that road trip never happened. The road trip's not gonna happen. And I'm pretty sure he didn't get laid either. Coincidentally, very soon after he made his e-begging debut, TJ did a video sporting a brand new leather jacket. You guys like my new jacket? It's lambskin. And that brings us to Cody Weber, whose first e-begging video was hot on the heels of TJ's and was meant to fund the purchase of a new video camera for filming a feature-length movie. And I was planning to make a feature-length movie this spring. I'm starting a fundraiser. I don't have a PayPal at the moment, but I'm going to ask a, a friend or something if maybe we can set, set something up. Uh, I'm starting a fundraiser so I can get a camera, um, a camcorder anyway. That movie was never made. Cody is by far the worst offender in this regard. He has asked for money numerous times and has never followed through on his plans. He's given us absolutely no reason to ever believe that his schemes will come to fruition. So by now, people should really know not to give him a penny, and Cody should be ashamed to ask. But of course, he isn't. Now, there's a reason that I have a particular problem with atheists e-begging as opposed to theists. Organized religions have always solicited money from their members. Their parasitic nature is one of the things that we as vocal atheists should want to counter. So when little shits get on the internet and ask their fellow believers for money to support their makeshift ministries, it's really just more of the same. However, there's a different dynamic to consider in the YouTube atheist community. The US, which is where most, if not all, of the YouTube e-beggars reside, is one of the most religious countries in the world. Millions of children are born and raised in religious families and in towns where the church is the center of the community and the pressure to conform is overwhelming. Naturally, as some of these kids get older, they'll begin to question what they've been taught. They may even reject it completely. But expressing their doubts openly could lead to them being ostracized by their friends, punished by their parents, and in some cases even disowned by their families. So they get on the internet in search of alternative viewpoints to those that surround them. Some find a haven in the YouTube atheist community, 
where people openly discuss atheism and challenge the ideologies of theists and religious institutions. Some of the personalities they encounter will be more popular and influential than others, and it's perfectly natural for young minds brought up in patriarchal systems to look to some of these people as leaders or even heroes. And keep in mind that they've been raised to believe that giving monetary donations to their philosophical leaders is normal. These popular YouTubers therefore have a responsibility to show more integrity than their religious counterparts, and not take advantage of youthful minds in the vulnerable process of re-examining their world views. And the rest of us have a responsibility to show integrity by denouncing those who try to capitalize at the expense of the community, insisting that they're somehow entitled. I mean, you motherfuckers owe me, please, come on, send me some fucking money, because I need it. And, um, no, I'm not shameful about it. Uh, I, if, if I didn't have this medium, I'd probably just put dirt in my face and go big on the fucking streets. That's how shameless I am. If you want to make money from your videos, become a partner and let YouTube pay you. If that's not enough for you, tough shit. This isn't your personal piggy bank. Get a fucking job. Thanks for watching, everyone.